That's a tough, uh, tough act to follow, Mike. At the outset, allow me to suggest an existential question that has puzzled me about my time at DeMatha. The question, was I a bigamist? The good news is Father James is here to provide me with absolution if necessary. Tom, before you get your tidy whities all twisted, don't worry, I think I have the answer figured out. Just let me deflect for a while and try to explain. When some people think of the word love, they don't often associate it with a lawyer. When some people think of the word service and lawyer together, they don't often think of those words without worrying about billable hours or contingent fees. Let me suggest to you that the word lawyer, love, service, and commitment can and do often go hand in hand, as evidenced by some gra uh, graduates of DeMatha and some who have actually received this award before me. Come back with me, if you will, to the spring of 1960. It's a warm season where nature lovers say that sap begins to rise, or whatever that's supposed to mean. In any event, uh, at that time, my parents decided to tell me that in the fall of 1960, in September, I was going to attend a little hole-in-the-wall school in Hyattsville, Maryland, called DeMatha. It was a complete mystery to me. I had no idea what I was getting into. But not only that, I thought I was a pretty cool dude in a smooth mood, thought I knew everything, and surely I should have a say in such a momentous decision in my life. It did not take long before I realized the wisdom that my parents had in sending me to DeMatha. Indeed, by my sophomore year, I actually found the first non-related love of my life, DeMatha. And then, a couple months after that Shakespearean marriage of the minds, I found I'd started dating and found the second love of my life, my wife of 54 years. We didn't get married till 1968, no. Um, but, and, and hence, I was on my way to bigamy. Tom, don't worry about those tidy whities because that's pretty twisted logic too, I know. In any event, <clears throat> the first love of my life to Matha prepared me for so many things that I needed in order to face the real world. I learned the love of scholarly work, the love of hard work if you wanted to succeed, the love of a faith-filled life, the love of a commitment to a cause, the love of, uh, of a commitment to everyone in your orbit. Moreover, little did I realize that when first coming to DeMatha, uh, and later as a lawyer, that DeMatha would actually be the springboard for a whole new vocabulary for me, such as a long-term guaranteed commitment, married for 54 years, um, also a sweetheart deal, uh, what we'd call a suitor with a pleading. All you married guys out there know what I mean when I say pleading with your wife. Um, also, what is a nundum pactum, a law term that's a, just a naked reference, so don't get too sappy. Finally, briefs. Now that's not a naked reference to underwear. That is about all the writing we were required to do at DeMatha, something that has been a treasure for me ever since, because you really were forced to learn to write here. And that has been a blessing. This award has been very meaningful to me for a lot of reasons. Um, I had the pleasure to have some uh, legends and role models that had at DeMatha, Morgan Wooten, Buck Off at John Moylan, um, and the man who this award is named after, Lou Amico. If uh, we all serve each other, we can get beyond this fragile, uh, uh, this world of fragile peace and broken promises especially if we remain steadfast as a people of faith. Where some may see a storm, uh, our service to others allows our eyes of faith to see Noah's rainbow. Where some may see a giant enemy in our midst, our eyes of faith can see David's slingshot. Nothing is too big for us to conquer if we serve each other. Wouldn't our world be so much a kinder and better place 
if we all adopted this prayer of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Dear Lord, teach me to be generous, to serve you as you deserve, to fight and not heed the wounds, to labor and not ask for reward, save that knowing I do your will. I, th I like to think of it this way. I sought my soul, but my soul I could not see. I sought my God, but my God eluded me. I sought my brother and found all three. Thank you to all the people that are so significant to me. I, I don't have time to mention them obviously by name, but you all know who you are. I wouldn't be here without you, family especially. Thank you.